I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. And we are back with another edition of After Hours Live on Facebook today. And we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm joined, of course, by the WAC Pack, uh, Mr. G, Larry Pollock, and uh, Greg Valentino. You know, it's funny. You know, John is not here because John, for some reason, even though we've been doing this show for how many years now? Three, four, five years? Th thought the show was at 1.30. <laughs> How long have we been doing this show at one o'clock, guys? Well, <laughs> sometimes, Dave. Sometimes, I mean, when it doesn't always start on this, you know. No, sorry, time, but but you know that we start it, it, the 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 start time is usually one. Once in a while, yeah, I get it. Yeah, earlier because because I have to go someplace or something like that. But it's one o'clock. He's acting like one thirty was the time we always start. That's his time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's on Jewish time. I don't know what time he's on. He's on there's something else's time. Yeah. It's an Yesterday fact. I was actually sick. I was supposed to do a show with John and I actually um I've been having a cough for like the last week or two. And all of a sudden I got a fever and I got um I was had the chills the night before. So I went to the one of these urgent cares and it was act this this place was really good. They actually ran a ton of tests on me, sent me home with some antibiotics. I, I feel better today, so um, I, I never get sick usually, and I've been getting sick a lot. I don't know what the what you got the, a bunch of kids, I, buddy. You got all I, the yeah, I always had my kids, but you know what? They get they never got me sick before. I think the germs are like super germs out there nowadays. Yeah. Well, your, your immune system's compromised, uh, or that too. But I don't know why. I feel good. I mean, I feel strong and everything like that. I feel like I finally got back to myself after the you know cardiac surgery and everything like that. I feel like I was making good progress in the gym and then. Just got whacked with that thing, you know. It was a cold for. I never get colds. I get a cold for like a half a day usually. So I mean, why don't you take the vitamin C packs and the zinc? That like if you, George. If you saw how many vitamins I take every day, I have a handful. I have a big hand, right? My hand is filled with these pills. I put them all in my mouth at one time, and I swig them down with a, with a couple sips of water. I do that twice. You cannot take any more pills than I already take. I take every every time I, a new study comes out about this ingredient or that ingredient helping you do something or another, I add it to my repertoire. So I take everything already. There's nothing more I could take. Do you take like quercetin? Quercetin, yes, I take, I take quercetin, yeah. Um, I take that with curcumin uh, at night, usually for anti-inflammation. And it's good against COVID, too, if anyone gets COVID. Um, I always talk about my COVID cocktail, you know, that I take. I actually um, did... TitanMedicalCenter.com has a, a product called Tri-Immune. It's good to keep it in your – good to get a bottle and keep it in your refrigerator because it's an injectable form of glutathione, zinc, and vitamin C combined. And you take that stuff, it'll knock the shit out of COVID, anything else you got. Because zinc, we know, stops the virus from replicating. Vitamin C in injectable form is like – a hundred times more potent than taking the oral form of it. Yeah, zinc fucks up my stomach, Dave. It fucks yeah, me you got to take if you take it by injection. Well, matter of fact, zinc won't mess your stomach up if you take a chelated form of it, though. Um, and you should always take it with food, Greg. That's another thing. A lot of people take their vitamins on an empty stomach, and it will irritate the lining of your stomach. So always take vitamins with food. Yeah, and uh, it's a big mistake. Do you, do you see? They came out with an article where they're criticizing now taurine. You know what taurine is? Of course. How can you right. criticize that it? it's good for you? I, yeah, because right. they criticize every. So listen to this. So you know, taurine is pretty much in every energy drink. 
Everyone. It's, been in, it's been in energy drinks forever. I don't even know why they put it in there, to be honest with you, because it's like it doesn't really do anything. You know, it's supposed to help with cell hydration, supposedly, and directing, you know, um, um, directing like uh, sodium in, into the cell better. But I don't I don't really believe it does. I don't believe it does anything. It's an amino acid, you know, essentially. And now the USA Today put out this article. I'm going to pull it up. Hold on one second. All right, hold on. You can't even get the article to come up with all these stupid ads they got going on. Holy sh mackerel. <laughs> they write, taurine makes energy drinks more desirable, desirable, but is it safe? Is that a naive ad? <laughs> you know, with like, you know, no, you know what I'm saying? They call those ads where a company puts it, will put an article, some type no, of medical this article. Is USA, they do it, this is yours. Right. You're acting as though. This is the first time that there's ever been uh, taurine introduced into oh, energy. Taurine. Taurine. Yeah. taurine, which is the amino acid taurine. You know, it's got a lot of good health benefits. You know, it's good for your immune system, supposedly. It's uh, it's supposed to help, you know, control blood sugars better. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's an antioxidant. Stuff. Whenever they attribute too many good things to a vitamin, I always i am suspicious of it. Um, just because no, no, no one ingredient does everything. You know what I mean? I take two grams a day. Do you? Okay. Yeah. There, there a thousand in the morning, evidence. thousand at night. And wh why do you take it? What's your reason behind adding that in? Um, it helps with uh, cramping and healing and uh, just recovering from training. It's supposed to direct electrolytes into the muscle better. So that oh. if you, if you do have an electrolyte issue, possibly. And this is the funny thing I, I find about the, um, about the product. It says taurine in combination with caffeine may increase the risk of cardiovascular issues, particularly in individuals with pre certain pre-existing heart conditions who are sensitive to stimulants. Now, that statement right there, if you're sensitive to stimulants, why would you take an energy drink? Right? If you have a if I have a heart problem that I'm sensitive to stimulants and it might make my me throw an arrhythmia and die. I'm not going to be taking any energy drinks, right? I'm not going to be using caffeine. So, of course, you know, you think taurine's going to make it any worse? I they, don't. The one thing that they said, the whole, I read the whole article because, you know, that's what I do. I read nutrition articles. And there wasn't one bad thing that was said about taurine, about uh, being an energy drink, except that it might cause this problem if you have a pre existing heart condition that makes you sensitive to stimulants. <laughs> I don't find it which an energy drink in and of itself is a problem, right? I don't yeah. find touring by itself to be a stimulant. I take it That's before bed at night. No, they're saying that it might make the stimulant like you know work better or whatever. It could That's what I different. heard. That's why it's supposed to be in in, in those drinks because that supposedly enhances the effect. It, 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 it doesn't do anything. It doesn't. Was it driving yeah. into the cells? Is that what it does? So taurine. Theoretically, right. uh, what I think taurine might do is it might help direct, because like Larry said, for, for hydration, electrolytes into the cells. Maybe maybe it directs, I don't know. Some, maybe some I should take that too, because I cramp my, sometimes my, after I tra train it at night, right. I wake up, my, my leg will be like. You, let me I, ask you this question. When you, what, do you, I, eat, I, or, uh, what do you eat before bed? Um, I usually have uh, cookies and milk. <laughs> That's a problem right there. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta give a plug. Speaking of cookies and milk, my good uh, one of my clients, James Minoyan, who's also I consider a friend, a very good friend of mine. Uh, we have a lot of interest in common. He breeds fish and reptiles and all kinds of stuff, and he's a really good bodybuilder. Anyway, he uh, did a really nice thing. I get in the mail. I got a little package in the mail from him uh with a um from i'm trying to think of the name of the the bakery but it's a bakery on arthur avenue in the bronx it's a big thing of cookies like real italian cookies you know the oh, ones yeah. you, your grandmother made for you you know when you're a kid yeah, yeah. i was like oh you know me george when was the last time you, aside from your cookies i ate by the way a yeah. lot of people get they, they ask me where to buy your cookies did you shut your website down or something yeah, we don't we're not we're going to be coming out in about the next uh, eight weeks i'm waiting on packaging oh. Oh, we shut okay. everything okay. down for the new year. I didn't know you shut that art. Right. Anyway, getting back to the cookies. So I don't eat cookies, aside unless they're like healthy cookies, like Mr. G's. And I was looking at those things, and I was sick yesterday, so I really didn't eat a lot all day. I'm like, fuck it, I'm eating these things. And I, I was eating all those ones. with the What are the ones with the pine nuts, Greg, called? Oh, fuck. Uh, nothing. Pinoli? Pinoli? Yeah. No. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like those. I don't like any. Those are the cookies. most expensive cookies to make. Those nuts? Those, yes. Those, Pine those, nuts. Those are the most. It, that cookie that cookie is like an eight, $9 cookie. Oh, is I, it really? I, they, yeah, the nuts, those nuts are so expensive. Those nuts that are on there? Yeah, are, I know. Are, are really expensive. Look, they, I, I don't they, like, I'm Italian. I don't like fucking Italian pastries. I don't like Italian cook like they were pastries. They're just just the cookies. They're the no, but I'm not a pastry cookies. guy or, or like. I, I like I'm not usually either, but I remember like when I started eating them, I was getting flashbacks of my childhood. You know. <laughs> oh, that, that was good. Yeah, because my <laughs> grandmother used to make those, and these are right from it. Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. Is is still I think oh, yeah. Italian, right? Oh yeah, man. Well, well yeah, they have awesome. protein in them. They, they have eggs. That'll flutter. Good fat. <laughs> yeah, it's all. It was I don't all like, like the taste of those things. Though I'm a basic guy. I'd rather have just a. If I'm gonna eat junk, it's like a chocolate chip or a brownie or something. Other than that, yeah. Or ice cream. Were, One of those. I don't even remember the names of all the cookies they made. What were the ones that they were green? And they looked like a leaf or something like that. What are those things called? I don't know, Christmas. They, <laughs> yeah, they like Christmas. Great. I gotta well, get. We see if John was here, he would be obviously. Uh, the able to hey, give us the name of the box. Stuff. You should have put the box on. The I know. Show. I have the box in my house, and I can't. You, I hate walking back and forth. My ankle is always hurting. So I I'm, got too lazy. But anyway, it was. They were delicious. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. And, oh, you uh, ate them all? Are they all no, gone? I them. No, I didn't know. I ate a couple of them. I, Dude, I, I, I a got huge it. box. Huge ne box. Dave, next time tell him to send you if you really want something good for yeah. Walter Revenue, the bread. Right. You understand the Italian oh, bread? Oh, yeah, they got bread. They got great bread. That's, that's what it uh, – Frank Sinatra used to have, like, from Little Italy, they used to send him loaves of bread <laughs> when he was in Vegas and stuff. Oh, really? That's great. Yeah, that's great. yeah my yeah, ex-father-in-law used to used to bring bread. we go to a restaurant to eat, and he'd bring his own bread. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny, but Vegas, believe it or not, has the best food in the world. I was in a very expensive – a friend of mine took to a very expensive sushi restaurant in Vegas. And he said, I want to let you know, he goes, this restaurant is the number one rated sushi restaurant in the world. They have the best fish here. I said, where are they getting the fish? I said, in the middle of the desert. He goes, they fly fish in five days a week. From all over the world, from Japan, from here, from there, to get all the freshest tuna and yellowtail and, you know, all the, the fine. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I, like, I'm a sushi. I know you don't eat sushi, but I'm a sushi guy. It was the it was the best sushi I ever had. It was unbelievable. Well, my friend got my friend got tapeworm from sushi. If you ever heard that story, you'd I don't. Like, yeah, I heard the story. You'd be pulled it out of his ass. But I don't. I don't. How do you know it came from sushi? <laughs> I told. I guess I told that a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, I don't. But how do you know it came from sushi though? That that's my question. Well, he told me he knew that where it came from. He, you know, nah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I sushi, sushi, sushi is very it is a spe if you have go to a, especially if you go to a, a very expensive place or a real Japanese restaurant. It's prepared and it's soaked in different brines, which are salts, that will kill anything that's in there. They, it's it's the preparation of it that you can't just kill a fish and eat it the raw. I mean, the, then you could get sick. It's got to be soaked in, in, in certain things, and then they usually flash freeze it. That kills everything else that's in it, and then, and then they and then they make it for available for you know to eat. But um, if you I go to a shitty place, rice. I'm sure there's places you can go that that have terror, you know, that don't don't you know handle the fish properly. And that, well, we used to go to all you can eat. Remember that was a fair. But those places are good, George. I'll tell you why the all you can eat places are good because they go through the stuff so quickly because they they use so much of it that there's nothing old there. In other words, it they're always they're always getting new stuff in. You know, a lot of times some sushi restaurants they may have like a like during COVID when no one was going out. I mean. How do you know how to order for a restaurant when no one's coming into your restaurant? You know, so they they have fish that's probably sitting around longer than it should. Um, that's that's the key. You got to have very fresh fish. Um, I've been eating sushi my whole life. Never had a problem with it. Never. I stopped yeah. eating it once once I heard Greg's story. I did a I did a parasite <laughs> detox. <laughs> Wait, did you guys did you guys ever see the, the video of Evan Senapani? Pulling the I fucking know. pinworms out of the out of the fish. Yeah, well, I don't know why he was even eating it because uh, you know. But the, he's the like, well, yeah, but he's like, you can't get all of it. So if you cook it, it's it'll kill. I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit. If yeah. I know that there's worms in that, 
Even if you miss one worm or eggs, there's eggs. Maybe he wasn't going through. I've never seen a worm in a single fish piece of fish that I've ever cooked or made. So I don't know. I don't know where he was getting his fish from. Oh, you, you I, didn't I, notice it. You didn't notice it. No, I, I looked at it. Was, it was hidden. It was That's hidden. That's it, George. It was, it was hiding from you, Dave. No, Dave's so. been so that big mouth finished. coming in, it's like, oh, fuck, I'm going to hide. If I bit into a piece of sushi and saw a worm in there, that would be the last I ate of it. Believe me. There's, I'm telling you. That's I, almost get, <laughs> I saw the video you're talking about with Evan. I, I don't know where he got that piece I, of fish According from. to him, I think in other people, it caught, every codfish has, like, worms oh. in it. I, I don't. I, I mean, I don't know if that's. I don't eat that shit. So yeah. uh, you know, I don't know if it's true. You know what I mean? I won't be eating. Yeah, any people are fishing like mad here now. The bait fish are running in in Florida the whole month of September, which means I there's was, tons of sharks. I got th three times last week. We we got, we got chased out out of the water by sharks. You're crazy. John, Sc yeah, John Scuderi was down in one of the keys, and he was he sent me pictures. He said, "You just look over the dock. You can see the sharks swimming there." They caught like a hammerhead, baby hammerhead. There's a lot of lobsters running around there too. You yeah, me. the lifeguards blew us out. They blew the big horn. Went, went right. A quarter mile out is breaking at Palm Beach, right? Right. So, so then all, all of a sudden we got out and then we went to another spot because the, the bait fish were coming in. So we went about 500 yards down, and then right. all of a sudden all the bait fish started coming by us, and then and then we put a. Then on the, there were like eight foot, but probably about four or five eight foot sharks right on. Like if I put my hand in the water, I couldn't yeah. touch them. Yeah, really. Then we, yeah. What I'm kind of sharks were they? Come out with one in a uh, headlock. Bull, bull sharks and spinners and uh, black. Bull tits. sharks are dangerous. I heard because those are the yeah, ones that will bite you. You know, they're, they're supposed to be more aggressive than uh, I think great and whites. Great whites, yeah, yeah. Bull shark and, is the one that yeah, that kills. And more bull people. sharks can actually go into fresh water. Yeah, believe it or not, they can get into the tributaries where the, the water is fresh. They can go fresh or salt, which makes it an unbelievable that they have the uh, evolutionary ability to pump out the sodium and survive in, in fresh water. Because most saltwater fish would die in, in fresh water. Well, there's gators in in the uh, intercostal up here, and, and crocodile. And another guy who fishes a lot said there's crocodiles. Really? Oh, yes. Shit. Wow. In in the intercostal down here. Intercoastal. <laughs> Intercostals in the other I even got Larry to laugh on that one. <laughs> hey, it's, 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 it's my vocabulary, testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the doctor says it like that testosterone. Yeah, You're testosterone. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, you know, Boston Lloyd's mom did a an interview with someone. I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want to give him any publicity. Fuck him. And I told her to be careful. Look, when she comes on my show, she knows me. We're friends for, for a very long time. And so, um, you know, she's, she's always, and she knows that I, I have her back. But when you, when you start going on other shows, you know, she's so transparent about what she says and what she believes and what the truth is. She's like totally like Boston in that sense. She's a total sweetheart. And she, when I said, look, you got to be very careful when you go on other shows because people have other different opinions. She went on this guy's show and I guess before he ran the interview, he did like a little commentary before the interview went on. And he kind of like, you know, insinuated that, you know, she was a bad parent because of the fact that, you know, she raised Boston in this bodybuilding lifestyle, her and John, you know, who she used to be married to, John Lloyd, who's another great guy, by the way. I know, Larry, you, you're, you're good friends with him. And I thought it was kind of like he kind of sandbagged her. If you're going to like challenge someone on what happened, you know, and you're interviewing them, wouldn't you ask them a question in the interview? You know? Yeah. It, it seems like a little disrespectful to do an interview and then go back. And before the interview runs, you give this commentary on, on the person. Well, he wanted know. to be, he wanted to give, be the, the, hit the focal point of the interview himself yeah which is which is kind of crappy i thought you know it kind of because here she is like pouring her heart out about her son who passed and being very honest about it not trying to sugarcoat it and then he's judging her like before the interview right it's just first of all you don't do it before if you're going to do it you do it after the interview because let people watch the interview and make their own assumptions you don't taint the interview by 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 giving you know your own personal opinion well, on that 
And you know, he wanted to come. He wanted me to come on on, on his show and interview me. And, and after I saw that, I, I got kind of got very turned off by the whole thing. Well, uh, Not to mention that he's on this anti steroid cr crusade. Fuck already. him! You can't be three hundred pounds no. and fucking be talking anti steroid. They, they asked me to be on his show last week. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, you too. Me, they wanted me to be on his show, and I'm like, I've seen his content, and I'm like, he's a hypocrite. He's yeah. three hundred pounds jacked, and he's like. So anti steroids, steroids is going to kill you. This and this and this. Right. He's still jacked, and all yeah. his YouTube, his uh, Instagram photos are him, you know, as a bodybuilder jacked. So right. he, he's I, trying I, to make a name for himself, Larry. He's trying to. He wants to get. Maybe he's hoping that regular TV will key on to him. Here's this guy's, you know, anti steroid. You know, I went through all this shit and I took steroids, and now I'm in. You know, and uh, you know, he wants to be the the face of of of. Anti steroid, you know, the lies will catch up, Greg. You can't love Look, the lies will catch up. Us. Holy mackerel, it's like this modern day Steve Mahalik. I wasn't even talking about you, John. I i, I forgot oh, about yeah. you. Oh, no, Look Jimmy who's laying in the sun over there. Look at that, Jimmy. The Bull. <laughs> when was the last time he was on after hours? Long time, he's still not on. He's asleep. Where's John? Yeah. Where's, where's Jimmy? I don't see him. He's right Where there. Lower left. You don't see him. Are you oh, dead? I see him. Yeah, Jimmy. I've been I've been sitting here for fucking ten minutes already, man. Me well, too. you should have. Uh, you know, you came late. That how many? How many? Oh, I, I didn't come you. late. Whoa, 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 I, I came whoa. here. Hold on a second. Drinking hey, my no, fucking coffee. Ten fucking minutes over here. Thirty. All right. When you change it to one o'clock, you can tell I, people. We've been doing it for one o'clock for, for four years, John. Uh, uh, one one o'clock Colombo time is one thirty. It doesn't matter. You still <laughs> gotta show up at one. Whether I because we have to do a we have to get warmed up before we we, we go live. You know yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you look you have good. To do calisthenics. I want. Right. I want. I want to. I want to. I want to give Jimmy some props because him and Lee Priest have a new show. For those oh, of you yeah. haven't watched it, it's called the. The confessional, <laughs> and I'm gonna run the intro. It's a guy. Tyler did a Tyler, the 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 creator, is on there with him, by the way. But cool. I got. I got to run the intro for you guys, just in case you haven't seen it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> Great that's intro, great. Tyler. That's, that's, enough that's, great. that's enough to get you to make up some sins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, John, when I'm on the show, some reason, somehow, I don't know if it's the wine, but I start doing the fucking confessions, right? The show is supposed to be about people writing in their confessions. <laughs> and all of a sudden, within 10, 20 minutes with me and Lee, I start confessing about all my shit. That I do. You have a lot of sins, Jimmy. To, I, got, I, got a, I have a lot of fucking sins, so... You know, I just start going on and on about, you know, I was talking about my chlamydia and uh, that was, uh, you know, that I guess that was a big hit with the people. They, they thought it was because uh, my doctor told me uh, when I had it at the time, uh, I, I didn't know what I had. It was uh, it was leaking. And my underwear was sticking to the thing and I would have this goo coming out of there. And I'm like, what the hell is what happened now? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I went I went to the doctor. And he took the little glass and he put it on the little Charlie there, and, you know, oh. and he got the little, and uh, calls me up the next day. He goes, uh, yeah, James. I said, yeah, what, am, I, what, am I all right? He says, yeah, you got chlamydia. I said, what the hell is that? I've yeah. never even heard of chlamydia. <laughs> chlamydia. I, heard of, I, heard of, I heard of calamity. I don't know what chlamydia is. You know? So anyway, he was laughing. He goes, listen, he goes, just think about this. He said, your thing has got a little cold. He goes, I'm going to give you some antibiotics <laughs> and, uh, you know, it'll, it'll go away. And I'm like, it's got a cold. He goes, yeah, it's got a cold. I said, I never heard anybody explain anything about a venereal disease like you did. You know, it's got a cold, whatever. So, you know, I took the pills and eventually it did go away. But uh, what, what's on your face? Yeah. Fu Manchu. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, I I got a little story for that too. You got to right. die that. You got you to put some uh, dress for men on that. It's, it's Jimmy. Okay, Stark, he's like two little things right here, and that's it. What uh, I can't see. Anymore. No, he's got it on his under his nose too, but it's it, it's like white. That's why. <laughs> ah, okay. So, and, and he... Well, no, actually, under the nose is is dark. I don't know. The hair grew in dark. But, under you, the nose. but you trimmed it down or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like a big, you know, itchy. I don't like you know, it's like a fucking skunk tail on the nose. I don't. Well, I don't you want can't that. have it. You can't have it bushy at the bottom and then not at the top. 
Charlie Chan has it. Well, where's this? Where did happen to your chin? Charlie Chan. It looks like you face planted on sandpaper. What? What happened to your chin? My chin. What is there? Is there hair there? Get, you no. know, get him, John. Yeah, let get me get him. a little closer. Let me get a little closer. Here, look. Oh, wow, look. you did that on purpose. It's a Fu Man shoe, but it's different colors. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's too, it's very thin, <laughs> thin too. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. People, people tell me I look Spanish. You do anyway. Yeah, so you do. <laughs> Not that you have any living by you, Jimmy. <laughs> Your whole so, neighborhood. You and Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Thank you, John. Glad to be back. <laughs> so anyway, make a long story short. I had I had a herpes broke out of my lip, right? Because I have herpes too. Hold on, oh, you were just talking about chlamydia. Now you got herpes. He's got every venereal disease on the planet. Dude, I, I had the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me that part of that story, though. Jimmy, Jimmy, I had the same shit Jimmy had. You left out part of the story. You know? I knew, I knew, I knew. You know, Greg, when I was going to tell the story, I knew you knew about this shit. I, I, I knew. He left oh, out. Get you know out to me the, for sure. You know how they got the Shpakim on the fucking slide on the glass? They stuck his fi their finger up your ass and they push your prostate, and that's when that shit. Goes. What? That's they exactly. Your, they they yes. milk your prostate. I, oh, Jimmy, wanna, Jimmy, I, yeah, yeah. did they do that to you, Jimmy? Up, Did bro? they milk you? Yes, yeah. I, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I told you. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. it. Greg went back three times. So he fed me all the time. <laughs> my, doctor, my doctor didn't do one finger, Greg. He, <laughs> he, 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 he gelled them up nice and nicer. He told me to bend over, and he went in there, and he was, like, pushing on something. And all of a sudden, Did you take him this. out to dinner afterwards? Did you guys go on a date afterwards? Nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of this shit. So anyway, did he hang, I get around, this, did he I hang get around, this, around afterwards? Or did he leave right away? No, oh, this is the same guy that the, 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 when I went to him again in the, in, in the uh, in the future, that when I went in his office, he told me to bend over and he did he did the, you know the thing, and then he had a, a guy in the office too. I told you the story. He was I guess he was like learning or he was whatever. Oh. I so the doctor did it. And I didn't even get a chance to get up yet. And then the other guy did it. I was like, oh, I said, the, the, I said, the both thing is, I said, why don't you give me a heads up over here? I don't know, the both things are going to, you know, give me the shots all in up. You know, but wait, did so, you pop a boner? Then after that, I went there the next, the next following week I go there. And he wanted to check the prostate again. I said, "We well, just did it. You and your buddies just did it last week. I mean, why, am I, why, am I, why, why, why you want to check it again? I don't understand, Doc." He goes, "Well, he goes, I, I, I got some new equipment." I said, "You got new equipment?" I said, so, you're not, you're not, you're not, so you're not gonna go up there with the feet? He goes, "No, no." And he reaches over and he grabs this baton, like this, 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 uh, this baton thing, you know. It had like a camera on here. He goes, bend over. He goes, I, gotta, I said, what the hell? He said, don't worry about it. He goes, I can see a lot more with this. I bent over. He shoved it in there. And he was like, looked like he was cranking up an old car, like an old model Ford, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, my God. You know, oh, my God. You know, and he was like, yeah, look, everything looks great in there. And he was looking on the TV screen. Did it vibrate? He, he, no, it didn't vibrate. Man. I wish it did because it probably would have felt a little better. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. He, Jimmy, if you were hanging out with the white guys, you know what they would call you? They call you Two-Finger Jimmy. Yeah, right. Exactly, you right. Change your nickname. He's not the bull. He's two finger Jimmy. So now it's better than Jimmy I've been, Wrist. I've been working a lot of hours. Right? I can't yell too loud. All, all my neighbors know I got chlamydia and herpes now. I know everybody here. So anyway, I, I I'm working a lot of hours. I, I I'm very tired. I, I I my immune system. You know, I don't eat good. I sleep maybe three four hours a night. You know, so I had the herpes broke out of my lip. Right, so I'm like, oh fuck. Not again, you know. I mean, I haven't. I I got it under control. It hasn't happened in a long time, you know. So I said, "Fuck it," you know. I didn't take no medicine. No, I usually use a breathe. You could put a little bit on the on the lip, you know. It's a little white stuff. It it helps out. But I I didn't do anything. So now I'm shaving right in the morning because I'm rushing to go to work, and I'm shaving things right on the bottom of my lip over here, right. I'm shaving, so I, I cut it as I'm shaving it, you know? So now I go on the side of my face, and I'm shaving the side of my face. And I mean, I'm a maniac. I like to get very clean, close shaved. So I'm shaving by my corner of my mouth, and I cut myself a few nicks. And, and I'm sure everybody's done that once in a while. Yeah. And you put well, a let, me, let, me, let me stop you for a second. But Jimmy uses Bic single-edge razors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like the first razor ever created, like disposable single-edge. <laughs> That's and, he, and he keeps them for like a month. Yes, yes. How do you yes. guys notice, man? You got a camera? I know everything about you. 
<laughs> hey, Jimmy. I'm starting to get worried. I got to go check my bathroom now. <laughs> Jimmy, when I get to, when that shit breaks out on me, I still get it unofficially got over there. And that shit, uh, fucking, it's like somebody put a cigarette out on my on my fucking officially got. You, you, know you know, not for nothing. When I first, I didn't even know I had it. I mean, I had, I had breakouts over the years, but I, I just thought it was, people's called cold sores. You know, so right. right. I got a cold. You know, but you know, when well, I went to my doctor over the urologist, he ran my blood because I was going to go on the testosterone. Right. And uh, which I got to tell you about that, too. So he says he, after he, I, I went there a few days later, whatever it was, within the week, I went back. He called me in. He goes, I, I want to talk to you about the blood. I said, all right. So when he goes, yeah, your testosterone levels at 190. I said, is that good or bad? He says, no, you're very low. He goes, that's not good. He goes, you're going to have to go on uh, replacement. I says, all right. You know, I, mean, I planned that anyway. But anyway, yeah. so then he says, uh, I just got to let you know, James, uh, you know, you got herpes, too. I says, yeah, I knew I had something. He said, he goes, yeah, he goes, he goes, yeah. I goes, how long have you been getting out outbreaks? I says, I don't know, 30 years. I said, you know, he goes, yeah, he goes, I just want to let you know, you know, he goes, I have medicine for that. It's called Valcar or Val something. Val Valtrex. 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 Is it? Valtrex. Valtrex. I was going to tell you guys, you, you just take a, a 500 milligram pill every day and you'll never break out. You don't get breakouts. Valtrex. Yeah. I should be taking it. Yeah. Some- well, he, he, he gave me a bunch of them. So Yeah, I take anyway. them. Just once. I just take a prophylactic. I don't break out because I get them on my lips. Most people get the uh, cold sores. A, lo- a lot of people have it, and they, yeah. they just write it off they as a cold know. sore. Yeah, right, I don't exactly. Know. Yeah, right. But when you get it on your schlanzola, that's another yeah. different story. Yeah. You know I mean? Well, yeah. I get that all the time there. I hate it. Which like I, somebody which put I've a gotten. cigarette out on my on my. So, J- so J- why don't you just take the Valtrex every day? Right. Well, they, they gave me with the, yeah. she, she, uh, she gave me the nurse practitioner gave me um, uh, it's it's four pills it's, it's heavy duty uh, Valtrax. So when you she said when you start to feel the sensation, pop two, and then twelve hours later right. pop another two, and she said it'll, it'll never happen. You can just take one a day all the yeah, time. I'm an idiot, you, Dave. I'm you know what like- it is, Dave? I'm not really a pill. I'm not, I was never a pill guy. You know, even right. when I was a kid, I, I'm just I'm not like you know I take Advils and. Uh, you know, ibuprofen. That's about. I really not a pill guy, man. I don't. I don't like popping pills. Right. You know. You'll drink, only you'll only out of drill. Only out of drill. You'll, you'll, you'll drink beer. You'll, you'll drink beers every night. Drink <laughs> yeah, beers. I drink beers every day. You know, I did out of drill like I was going out of style. Yeah. You know, but yeah. but I don't like medicine. You know, I don't. I don't like yeah. you know prescription pills. Anyway, so I cut. I cut the. I cut the freaking thing on my lip, and I'm shaving in my face, and I'm like a maniac. But I keep because I'm like I'm like a, a dog. You know when the, you know when a dog bites on the wound, you know, and, he, and it makes you worry. You know, I'm, I'm like one of those. You know, so I'm shaving. I'm feeling the skin i said shit there's still more here i'm shaving, shaving. you know I'm shaving, and i'm cutting all over here you know so i put the little tissue you know the toilet paper there like a lot of people do i go about my day wouldn't you fucking know i broke out with all on the side of my fucking face man big welts oozing and shit i'm like what the fuck i said i cut the lawn the other day what did i get poison ivy or some shit so i don't know so i went to the diet it was horrible man i look like i had a leper it looked like i sucked off a leper guy i mean it was horrible right so i go to the i go to the doc and i go doc i said i don't even want to go out in public you know i said what 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 is this here you know and i told her what happened she says well what happened was when you shaved and you cut the the juices on the bottom thing there and then you shaved over here and you cut you nicked yourself you transferred the juice from there to your face and now you got them all over your face i said holy shit i said uh, i can't I, I says i can't what do i do she says well don't shave don't definitely don't shave anymore i said i can't shave i, I got these tremendous things on my face she says I'm, let me give me let me give you the voucher so that's what she gave me the voucher x i took it i didn't shave so the hair started coming in so I started like shaving around it, and that's how that's how the fucking goatee happened. Because I, I, I was hiding those diet. fucking things. You know? I think you should either dye it white or you should dye it dark. I don't think you should leave it half and half. I didn't I didn't plan it on being half and half, David. Just, I'm we, telling you, I think you should go get some just for men and, and, and color it. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I mean, I, I have, a, I don't know, man. So I, I'm not really a color guy. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I agree with Jimmy. I wouldn't do that either. You know, and then I got to go and I, then I'm married to the fucking thing, right? Then I got to fucking do it. It's growing in. I got to do it again. I who's got time for that shit. I well, let it, it, I let it, it embrace your old age and your gray hair. Hey, Brad, <laughs> look, I got I got gray whiskers here. It's so dark just up here. Throw a Santa beard if, if you don't want to be any man. Yeah, just, Dave's got a point. Quit carving that thing up. Just let it grow. Yeah. 
Yeah, just let the whole I face grow. Yeah, quit making designs. You're not like one of those Japanese guys with fucking sand in the grave. <laughs> he does, right, John, he doesn't want to ma maintain it all, but yet he has this perfectly right. uh, room thing there. You know how hard that is to get it yeah. right every oh, time? I know. It's yeah. the <laughs> it was pretty perfect when he said it goes up. Yeah. I, I have to tell you, it George is had the really you had that really good Hulk Hogan one for a while. Yeah, George. Yeah, that, that wasn't dye though. I used I used uh, makeup. Oh, oh, you okay. did? Yeah, that yes. I just put makeup on it. You had, but you grew it though. It looked good. Yeah, no, I grew it, but then I would I would make it white with makeup. Yeah, but I'm just what I'm saying. Or is if I didn't have makeup, I would use toothpaste. <laughs> So I had to come back on the show. You know, I gotta, I gotta apologize, guys. I have to, I have to, I have to confess. I have to confess. <laughs> I, was on, I was on the phone with George the other day. We were laughing my head off. Not the toothpaste with the blue swirl in it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that would be the, and that would be the pride flag one, right? Unbelievable. Uh, only you would think to put toothpaste on your, on your beard. Well, you got to think on the go, the right? The smell Maybe. alone would have driven me crazy, John. The Maybe whole your imagination. Your fucking eyes would be watering from the freaking. <laughs> anyway, Dave, I posted on I posted on you know on Instagram that yeah. we're going to be live today at one o'clock, and I, I okay. did it, you know. So I got a, I, I got a lot of hits on it, you know, people saying they're going to come on, and all well, you know. Then I had people cursing me out. So I had, I had somebody, you know, you know, so I, you know, I got to apologize that, you know, I, I haven't been on the show because work, it's only work with, not that I don't enjoy the show and I, I love ranting and screaming and complaining about shit, but like I'd had a fit and, and fucking gun list now, I got to tell you about that. Anyway, so I, it's not because I don't enjoy the show and I don't enjoy my friends. I, I, I work, I, it's, it's very hard. I can't do it from the truck anymore. It's very, and now the new job I got, they got a camera right in my face. So my boss uh, is watching me. He's got a camera on the street, and he's got one in my face. So when I'm eating or picking my nose, you know, I mean, I'm just, he's watching. I was going to say, I, do, I right? can't believe that you can operate under those under those circumstances. I don't, I don't, I really it. don't, I don't like it. I, really, I don't like it, but that's you know, that's what it is. Did you, I mean, didn't you used to tell me? Hold on, didn't you used to tell me you used to watch porn in in the truck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't even do that anymore now because you, well, you know. Not, not only I, I watch the porn, I put it on the surround sound that's in the truck because I got this brand new truck. So now when I'm driving down the road and I got some chick giving some guy head and these guys screaming and yelling, I I turn the surround sound up. So now I get it all in the truck. John, it's great. You know? John, before he had he didn't have brakes. Now he has surround sound, John. Right, right. No brakes. The tires fall off. Yeah. Him, but he's got surround sound. You know? he'll, no, never, no, he'll never got, leave New York now. That's right. for sure. Yeah, right. I got awesome speakers, man. They're great, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but your wheels fall off at Kennedy Airport. Well, that was the other guy. Anyway. So, so this, I go, this is the new truck Johnny's got now. So mm. I just got to tell you this one story. So I, I go with King Kong last night. I got off work late. I was starving. I'm tired. I'm aggravated. I got to go to King Cullen. I hate going to King Cullen because every time I go to King Cullen, I'm dropping 100, 125, 85. I mean, I don't even buy anything. It's like I need another job just for King Cullen. It's so expensive. I, the very expensive. It's like ridiculous, man. I always complain to the girl behind the, the you know, the counter. I'm like, I said, look at my wagon. I, I told her, I said, look at my wagon. I said, look at that. She says, yeah. I said, does that look like $125? She goes, no, it doesn't. I said, exactly. I said, this place is bullshit. What did you, well, what did you buy a King Cullen? What, did, what does the cashier have to do with the price of your groceries? You because she works there, and I want maybe she's got some kind yeah, of insight. She's in the back saying, yeah, Jimmy the Bull's here. Make that 10 cents <laughs> more expensive. <laughs> well, you want to hear something funny? So I lost my shit last night, John. Right? I go in King Cullen. I'm running, I'm running late. It was almost closing time. I, I, I didn't really eat. I said, let me just go to King Cullen. I'm running this King Cullen. And uh, it was getting ready to close. So this one lady that works there, all right? I mean, I'm not making fun of her, but she's very slow, man. And this is the bitch oh. that every time I, I she rings my shit up, I'm waiting at the end of the fucking conveyor belt thing, right? And she never turns it on. And I got to stretch to get my shit off the, every, <laughs> the, the can of corn, the slice bread. You know, after like four or five hours, I say, yo, man, could you, do me? Could you turn the belt on? And then she goes like, Dick. and then the bell. I said, Jesus, thank you. You see me over here struggling with all the groceries. Turn the belt on so I can get my shit, man. So she's slow as hell, too. So now 
I'm, I'm, they're announcing on the on the speaker. Okay, call and close in a ten minutes. You know, get your stuff and you know head on out. So I'm you know I'm online with like seven people trying to get out of there. I, we got slow poke at the register, right? So I finally get up there. And I'm trying to get everything. She's not turning the belt on. I had to yell right at the belt. She finally turns it on, and I'm begging my shit. I'm just throwing the shit in the bag because I'm aggravated now. I'm starving. I'm overtired. I had to wait online with six people. They're announcing to get the hell out of the store in ten minutes, right? So what happens? The bag starts ripping because the bags are made like shit. Right, so I got the. I'm putting my food in there, and it's coming out the side. Right, the bags. So now I flip it out. I start taking the bag. I'm ripping the bag up. I'm throwing the bag down. I'm stepping on the bag, and the rest are like, this. you know. She's like, calm down. I said, these bags. Are, I said, they don't make nothing good anymore. Not even a bag. I said, this world's going to shit. Right. So now all the people online are looking. At me. They, all start, they all start laughing. Right. So all the help. All the help started coming over, and they would double bag in the bag, and they would help me grow, put the groceries in there, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. I said, I'm sorry. She said, don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable, man. <laughs> Melting down in the supermarket at, at, uh, at 12 midnight, yeah. I was <laughs> bugging out. Bugging out, Dave. You got to see me throwing yeah. everything around the store. The I, the I can imagine, yeah. I mean, those oh, stupid yeah, yeah. paper bags. You, right? never, huh? you should never – you... no, first of all, two rules. You never go into the supermarket yeah. when you're starving because you're going to spend – Double the money because you're gonna your 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 brain is thinking yes. about it. you want to eat everything. Yes. And and number two is if you go in irritable, it's invariable that things are gonna go wrong. You know when well, you're in there, the line is gonna take double this time. You, you're not gonna be able to find what you need. You're gonna forget something and have to go back. So you got to go into the supermarket after you eat, not before you eat. I know, but it was running late. I just got home. I was I was aggravated already. I couldn't even go to the Never gym. Never do it. You know? Never. And then and then uh, you know the, the lady did say something. She said uh, she mentioned the word. She said, I'm, "I'm not angry." I said, "I'm sorry for being angry." She said, "You know, you're not a, you're not angry." She says, "You're hangry or something like that." She said to me, I'm like, "Oh, from I'm being like, hungry." I said, "Hangry?" I said, I "Never heard that expression." She goes, "Yeah, you you're hangry. That's what it is." I said, "You know, I like that." I, said, you know, I, said, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I angry, hangry, yeah, whatever. It is. Yeah, you know. She goes, yeah, I, I was starving. Angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I was do, you know, I, I was, I did like you just said not to do. I was starving when I went there. And yeah. I was just throwing everything in the way. The other yeah, mistake I, I make is I got them freaking bags that you, the cloth bags that you're supposed to take in the store, right? So when you you buying your shit, you 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 load up your own little bag with the handles. You know, it's a cloth bag. It's very strong, but. uh I always forget them because when I go home, I take the bag out of the car and I go in the house and I load my groceries. Right, I never put the thing back, so every time I go there, I buy another bag. But last yeah. night I didn't. I just put everything in the paper bag. But it was a nightmare. A nightmare. Thank God everybody helped me. They were all very nice to me. They saw me flipping out. They were all very nice to me. I'm glad. I'm glad that you had a good experience at the King College. I had a, I, it ended up being nice. It did. It back nice. back to what we were talking about before you guys came on. We were talking about um, Larry was uh, commenting. About there's this guy who has this TV, this uh, pod, uh, excuse me, YouTube channel, and uh, he had gotten Boston Lloyd's mom on, and uh, and he did an interview with her. But before the interview, he kind of like sandbagged her a little bit and was kind of bad mouthing her, you know, her mothering, her. you know, skills. And uh, you know, I thought it was bad, but Larry, I didn't know Larry. They had asked Larry to go on the show. They had asked me too, and I and I kind of declined because of that. But um, why is this guy all anti steroid now? But yet he's still jacked out of his mind. I don't know. I mean, he 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 won his pro card as a master's bodybuilder, uh, just maybe a few years ago, right? And what's the, uh, of, what's the name of the podcast? Are we allowed to say? No, don't say it, because we don't want him to go there. Fuck that. He's talking yeah. shit. He's a big right. jack dude, anti steroid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So Dave doesn't want to give him. You know, Dave I don't know. I don't know if he had some health scares or what whatever it was, but yeah, he went from this competitor with this hardcore training you know posting hardcore training stuff to like born again christian anti-steroid don't take steroids you're going to kill yourself all, all this what is god See, have- I, I don't i don't believe in that shit you know if you're if you're a, a bodybuilder and you're taking juice whatever and then one day something happens you see light or whatever you, you know you get, whatever you, 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 you're sick and then you got better and then you then you turn Christian and you're talking out against stuff. I I don't I don't really like that. You know, I that's, that's, I don't, Steve, I don't, that's Steve Mahalik did the same thing. Oh god, yeah, I don't like that, man. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, yeah. Mahalik, he had, get, get, took every drug under the sun, and then all of a sudden, you know, he gets cancer and blames it on steroids, and then goes on his campaign. And, and you know, you really can't think. you can't blame a parent for that either, man. Because you know what, if they if they raised the uh, Boston Lloyd right, and he was he became a bodybuilder, and he, he was he loved it, like he obviously he did, you know. And uh, you can't blame the parents for what happened. I no, mean, the guy, that... the, you know, he loved the sport. He did whatever he had to do to look what to, we uh, did, Jimmy. Look what yeah, look exactly. Look, I mean, right. we can't. I mean. And besides, does that guy have kids? The guy that Ooh. said it, does he have kids? Yeah, he does. I, I don't even know who you're talking uh, about, but. Uh, no, I don't know who it is neither, but I'm saying. Does you, he have you children? Know, yeah, he does. Because you yeah. could do everything right. I mean, you know, kids, you know, we, we, if you think about it, if all, if he thinks about what the shit he did when he was younger, did he follow what his parents told him to do? Probably so, not. Here's a great, here's a know. great story. John knows this. Sergio Oliva Jr.'s dad, Sergio Oliva, who was Mr. Olympia. Did not want Sergio to go into bodybuilding. Matter of fact, he called, you know, all the gyms and organizations. They said, "Don't let my son in." He he was trying to blacklist his son because he did not want him going into bodybuilding because he was so down on bodybuilding. What did he become? A bodybuilder. You know, you can't stop it. If it's going to happen, it's no. going to happen. If I say my son will never be a bodybuilder because I don't want him in this, he'll go and become a bodybuilder just to spite me. You know, yeah. so. You can't you can't tell your kids what to do, and, and you can't blame parents for you know for for. I, for doing I don't think it's spite, Dave. I, I think that's the wrong word. I mean, you know, if Logan grew up and he's looking at all your pictures on the wall and you know everything you do, you know, it, it might intrigue him. To, to, no, but to... kids are rebellious by nature. Right, right. right that's right. the. I mean, look at all the girls who are like raised by like to, to be a nun, and then they turn out, they get get out, they turn eighteen, get out of the house, go to college, and they're. <laughs> Fucking sluts on campus. I don't think these guys. I don't think Sergio Olivas Jr. did it out of spite. I don't believe that at all. I think he did he it out of love. He wanted to be a rebellion. A rebellion right. I think, he was but told I mean, not I think to he, do it. I, so anytime yeah, he's he told he, not to do it, it makes you, you know, want to do how, it. How about this, John? How about when I was a kid? You know, my father died very young, but my my inspiration to be in weights and and lifting and all of that. With the freaking the comic books, man. Well, you know the, the, the Charles Atlas. Sure. You know when yeah. he was running on his sand. You know that kind of stuff. But Dan Laurie. Sand kicked in your face. Dan Laurie. Yeah, like yeah. all that. You know. Then when I used to watch Hercules Unchained with Steve Reeves. Yeah. You know, and uh, th those stories got me going. You know, and I wanted to. I wanted to train. I wanted to. You know. Be, let me, I, I, I liked it. You know what I mean? Let me let me ask you guys a question. Don't you think Boston, going to the extremes he did, had a little bit to do with? him thinking that he really had to excel in bodybuilding, even though maybe it wasn't something he really wanted to do. Are you no, reading think... something, Larry? What's that? No, I... Are you reading I think something? That... Reading something? Yeah. No. It looks like, oh, okay. I thought you were he's reading just not looking into the... a... He just doesn't look into the camera when he's looking oh, at the camera. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I, I think sorry. Boston Lloyd did it. <laughs> I, I think I'm looking at you did... guys. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Larry, I think the reason why he did it was because nothing, nothing. I think he fell in love with it, seeing his parents do it. Yeah. Number one, number two, he didn't have such good genetics, not for nothing. He didn't. If you saw what he looked like when he was a teenager, when he, you know, when he was kind of chunky and, you, you know, what I'm saying he didn't really have that. So, you know, maybe he felt like, uh, you know, he had to start doing this shit early. You know, this, you know, the babanya. You know, what I mean, the steroids. Uh, maybe, maybe that's what got him into the juice so young. Because yeah. I think going when guys start that shit as teenagers. It's it's no good. And I'm, sorry, I'm not talking but, about the him doing just young, but the amount of drugs he was doing because his genetics weren't. Yeah, good. because I, he I was trying to compensate for the lack most, of genetics. But most I, of us, I think I it was already, that. Built, uh, you know, we were already <laughs> built before we started taking steroids. Yeah, you know, but Craig, right? you don't know the amount he was. Nobody knows the amount. No, just, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, no, he's very he open about it. He told what him. I what I think is that he got caught up in the social media hailstorm. And he needed to create his point of difference to make people look at him and that, so he could get his views and get his popularity out. And I think he got caught up in that. John, and I agree with when, you. When he, he, when he, he didn't have when, good genetics. Didn't, yeah, that's besides the point. What he had was the ability to, 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 to impress upon people that he's a radical dude, that he's going to do this incredibly crazy shit and, and push the limits all the way over here. And 
that's what gained him his notoriety. But in order for him to get that look, I think he knew he had to take a lot of stuff. Yeah, he did and he kind of took it. He had, he, he had he, it naturally. You know what I'm saying? I think, like, yeah, John, I think a, lot of us are, a lot of us are guilty of that, John. What but he, what I'm saying is yeah. to answer Larry's question, I'm the I, my answer to his question is, is that Boston got caught up in the social media attraction and that he created this persona, this extreme persona, whether it was because of his genetics or what, it doesn't matter. He created this extreme persona to create interest in himself, to get clicks, to get whatever he was getting, uh, you know, on, on notoriety online. Like, and I'll be honest what, with you, John. I'm glad we didn't have this shit when we were growing up. Like Rich Piana. Right, yeah, exactly. Like Rich I, I, I'm going I'm to disagree with you guys. I, I actually hey, we know, had call waiting. I, <laughs> call waiting. I actually <laughs> think that what what was going on with first of all, when I had Boston on my TV show, um, we had him on Heavy Muscle TV. I think for the first time, I asked him, "What do you love the most in life?" And, and his answer was steroids. I mean that he loved. I don't know why. But that he was had, an act, Dave. He was enamored yeah. with them. He loved them. He liked to experiment on himself. He liked to take, see how much he could take, how little he could take, all the different types. He took drugs that didn't even build muscle. He would use EPO. He he just was enamored by drugs for some yeah. reason. And that was I, his I don't know why. And, that was and, his thing. Yeah. I don't think he did it for social media purposes. I think he just liked taking drugs and seeing what it did to his body and how he felt on them. And but, but, got, so, but social it. media. And I actually think. But I, I actually think, think, he, I had think, good, I actually think he had good genetics. I think if Boston would have trained harder and taken bodybuilding more seriously, he could have been a really good bodybuilder. He was just too consumed with the actual aspect, the drug aspect of it. Yeah, I don't but know why. Dave, you can be consumed with that, but if you don't have an outlet to espouse it, then it's then it, nobody knows. So I don't think he cared. John, I don't think if there was any, if there was no. Come on. Yeah, watch no, his videos. No, 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 no. If yeah, there wait, was no John, social I, I, media, I think if it was the 90s, if it was the 90s, he would have still done the same thing. I don't it, think you would have done it for the extreme. Right. Oh the, the extreme he loved right. taking drugs. I don't know why he loved the it. The drugs let him to get that attention. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, agree with I know you, a lot John. of people like that. Well, let me say something. I don't so, even think he liked the attention that much. I don't think he even – he's a he didn't leave his house. He was like a very homebody guy. He wasn't like a guy who needed a lot of validation from other people. He just liked to do what he did, and he and – he, and he was so fully transparent that he didn't mind sharing it with everyone. Yeah, but was he on Instagram? Uh, didn't he he put it on the internet, everything he did. He so why would he like that? much on, on social media. If you look at the amount of posts he made, they were minimal. He could have put up a video every day. He would have probably been the most popular YouTube guy. He was lazy. He told me, I, I didn't really, I only do, I only post and go on shows like yours, Dave. He goes, when I, when I feel like I got to make a little bit of more money, you know, to pay the bills and stuff like that. I'll do a little bit more social media type stuff because I know it brings in more money for me. And and that was his, he was totally honest about that. He wasn't a big money maker. He actually wanted money so he didn't have to worry about paying bills, but he wasn't consumed with making money. That wasn't well, a big that, that statement doesn't follow through with the with the exchange he had with uh, John Meadows. That he, he was he was talking about how much money he made and you know John. I Meadows. think he was just trying to shut John Meadows up. That's why you know. But I don't think it really that was really money was never his driving force for doing anything that he did. If you know Boston, you knew that that was the, that that hundred percent true. Let me let he me say something. I think there's two kinds of bodybuilders. There's the bodybuilder that does it because they like to. Larry always cuts because they want the social media, the attention, whatever it is, the the way they look. Like for me, when I got into it, I I did it because I really liked to train. I still like to train, even when I was in prison, I couldn't compete in anything really. I still trained as hard as I could because I just liked training. Other, he didn't like training. He he really didn't like going to the gym. It wasn't his thing. So he used the drugs to compensate for lack of training and. You know, he didn't have that drive to do that. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't a hardcore trainer at all. No. He barely like, trained. He would train like 45 minutes and lightweight. Oh, what did he? I, I never saw him work out, but yeah, it yeah. was like a joke. So what did he die from? Liver failure? Well, yeah, he yeah. died from an aortic dissection, but he was already had he was on kidney failure for a long time. Yeah. From all the just massive amounts of stuff he was taking. Oh, that that actually caused it? It wasn't a genetic thing. He had the same thing I had, uh, George, and an enlarged aorta. He didn't. He didn't know he had it though. 
Yeah, but if you, I just saw an interview I watched with him, like literally the week before he died. Right. He looked bad. Yeah. He he looked sick. He looked skinny, drawn. Well, he was. Wasn't he? Was sick, he wasn't he? Yeah, he was. But I mean, yeah. he looked like he was like knocking on death's door. Yeah. Well, you know why he should he should he should, have been, he should have been on dialysis and he wasn't because he refused to do it. He was trying to do some Leo's crazy treatments, you know, to, and. You know, when you get to that stage where your kidney's not filtering your blood, you go on dialysis. I mean, because you, you don't want to feel crappy. And, um, you know, he, well, he, he, was... he could have got, he could have, look, if he would have gotten the aorta fixed like I did, and he would have gotten a kidney transplant, and he would have gone off all the crazy massive drugs he was doing, he, he, he could have lived a very a, a fine life, and he would have been fine. But he couldn't, he could not accept the fact in his brain that he was not going to be able to do all the steroids again. And, and, and you know what? Quite frankly, I don't think he wanted to live. I think he almost had a death wish. He re- it would be like, if I can't do this, I would rather not be alive. Hmm. That's his mindset, sad. you think? Or maybe his mindset, he, he was young. I'm young and fuck this. It's not going to harm me. I don't no, care I what think he knew. Say. I think he knew he wasn't doing well. I mean, he knew no, he, he did. Oh, he, he, knew. Knew. He, ex- he, he, knew. Accepted. he did not want to have to stop taking the drugs. How old was he, Dave, when he passed away? 29. Oh, shit, man. That's wow. wrong. And he had a That's kid, good. too, right? He has a kid, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Derek Anthony died at 31, but he didn't have any children, at least. I you was know? too young. That's too young, man, 29. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, Derek and his son and his, and his wife, Ariella, you know, those are the people who are, are suffering, not Boston. Boston's in a better place. you know. But he was also justifying it because he was saying, like, that uh, even though he should be on dialysis, his blood work is good. His sodium is good. His potassium is good, even though he's not taking dialysis. And so he was trying to say, like, he's still healthy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so he thought he was going to live then. Then he did. If if he's saying that, that, then that's going to, that's, he's thinking he's going to live. Because I can see what, when I, when we were younger. Sure. He didn't, he didn't think he was going to die of an aortic aneurysm. He, he didn't no. know that that was there. You know, he figured, well, you know. Well, that he didn't talk. even, so, so he actually, he had a heart attack, basically. I mean. No, he had his aorta ruptured and the blood just poured out. And he was laying on the floor at the, at the gym and he called his wife to come pick him up because he was in excruciating pain. And because when you, when the aorta ruptures, you feel the pain in your back. And uh, she, she, she picked him up. She put him in the car. She's like, let's go to the hospital. He's like, no, no, these doctors don't know anything. And she, he refused to go to the emergency room where they could have saved him, obviously, because he was still alive. He went home good. and he bled out, obviously, and that was it. You know, it's yeah. a shame. Yeah. Totally, totally avoidable. So when so when that happens, you feel severe, a, a lot of pain or back. I mean, yeah, oh yeah, it's very supposedly it's it feels like someone's sticking a knife in your back. That's what it. Yeah, you know, but who would think it's it's normal for bodybuilders to think? You know, even myself, like you know, back. Like yeah, but Greg, he couldn't drive home. He was in that much pain. You know, when you're in but, that much pain, you go to the hospital. You know, I don't know, but yeah, but we're bodybuilders. I, you get bad backs all the time. You blow your back. Yeah, but he wasn't even a hardcore guy. He wasn't a. He wasn't like a guy that trained hard. Yeah, he just got a pain out of nowhere, like a knifing pain in his you know middle of his back. That's shit, shit Greg. I go to the VA for every little uh, yeah. uh, hangnail. <laughs> Jimmy's got his own room. Jimmy's gonna go, Jimmy's gonna go right Jimmy. now after the show. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy goes like Jimmy nurses. goes for a canker <laughs> sore. Jimmy likes the nurses. That's why yeah. 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 nurses over there. He I like the attention. pimples on his chin. He had to go. Yeah, I, I, like the... yeah, I don't know what that was. I thought I was. And, 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 and the other thing that belies logic is he says that's why I went to the doctor. Do you ever go to the doctor? You gotta wait two months to go to the doctor. Yeah, no, yeah, nobody yeah. calls up and goes to the doctor the next day. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? He goes to the VA hospital. Yeah, exactly. Because he loves yeah. going there because he likes they, the Chinese girl. Yeah, exactly. There's He's a in love with the Chinese like nurse. Yep. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. Georgie is no, no, I'll tell you what happens when the older you get, the more. <laughs> The more like you, you know, you, 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 like, look, when I was younger, I didn't give a shit about anything either. I, 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 I could turn cars off. I didn't, if I got a pain, I just, I trained through it. That's how your mentality is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the older, but the older you get, you start to, you start to say, oh shit, maybe that's, maybe there's something going on in there. You know, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, I don't know. Your mind changes when you get older. Fear. So fear is taking you over, Jimmy. It's fear. What, fear. What? 
Yeah, what I'm saying is that why 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 does why would you have to think that there's nothing wrong? It's just an ache. I don't know. That's a good question, George. I don't you know. You know what I'm saying? Like in other words, why yeah. why all of a sudden you're thinking yeah. different now than then? You you're eating know. right. You're you're exercising. You're training. You're right. Yeah. You're working. So 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 you're what on happened? hormone so, replacement, so, right? What, what happened to me when I started getting older? What happened from when you I was stopped younger, the, you, you still eat hot dogs walls. or no more? You still eat that? You still go to the hot dog truck guy? Yeah, I went there today and I went home. <laughs> you know what it is? Did you have the, you have the onion stone <laughs> central? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, did you, so, you know what it is? Did you ever watch SpongeBob where him and Patrick are gonna go see Ocean Man or whatever the guy's name is? He's like the Superman, and they yeah. go knock on his door, and they're like, "We're here to see like Ocean Man or whatever the fuck his name was," and he's like, "That's me." And it's an old man, and they're like, "No." But you're supposed to be like this big, strong guy. And he, the guy gets his cape and he puts it on. He's like, I'm Ocean Man. And, you know, in other words, you're not Superman anymore. Jimmy knows. Listen, t uh, like Jimmy, I go to the gym, fucking sling around the weights. Now I go home, I sneeze, and I blow out my back from sneezing. <laughs> I'm not lifting heavy weight, right? Am I, I right time? I blow my back out, tie my shoes in the morning. That you it know? happened to me. Same thing. I went to see my son the other day. And it fucking Listen, put on my socks. I, don't, I, bent I really don't. I really don't. I don't know what happens when you get older, man. You, I don't know if you get uh, paranoid or you get, uh, I don't know what it is. But, you, you know, you're more concerned. You think about your health more when you get older for some reason. Right. I don't know why. I, I don't know. You're maybe you know, you're at, maybe you know you're at the end of the, you're at the, end of, what? You're closer well, to death, that's right. why. Exactly. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I was just talking to my brother the other day because, you know, he, he said, I said, Anthony, am I a hypochondriac? He goes, eh, you know, I said, what do you mean, man? I said, I'm just, you know, every time I go to the VA and they, and I, and they check me out and they say, you're right, I ask them, I say, am I, am I a hypochondriac or... And they said, no, no, it's it's maintenance, it's it's good. You know, you feel something, you should come. I said, yeah, they're you. afraid. Thank they're you. afraid you're going to go into a fit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I, you I do, would, whatever you do when Jimmy would, comes in, please tell him everything's all right. Right. So okay. can you imagine? Can you imagine what he what he went through over a bag breaking? Can you imagine somebody poking his arm trying to find the vein and they can't find it? And he says, "Goes berserk." You know. Jimmy, did he punch right in the face? He would punch him in the face and then stick the needle in them. Here, here, here! I'll find your vein. <laughs> I got I got to confess. I, the other day, I had to get a blood test because you know I'm on the, the replacement, right? So. The doctor called me up and says, don't do nothing for 10 days. Said, Take your shot and we have to test your levels because I guess they got to do that medically, you know, whatever. They, they can't just keep giving it to you. So I went down across the street over here to Northwell and it was a young girl, very young. And I, and I sit down and I, just, I put my arm on the table and she says, can you straighten your arm out? I said, this, this is it. I said, I can't <laughs> straighten my arm out anymore. Right? She goes, well, do the other arm. Put the other arm. That was worse. Right? She, she says, why, you, why, she said, why is your arm bent like that? I said, listen, it's a long story, man. I said, I said could, just, could, you, could you draw the blood? I said, you know. Yeah. She said, All right. She said, you know. So anyway, she, she, did, she did the blood. And I tell you, I didn't, she she was like perfect. I didn't feel anything. She just did it. And I said, "That's it. You're done." She said, "Yes." I didn't even feel a pinch. I said, "Just." I said, "You're wonderful." I said, "You know, I go to the VA all the time. They got to do it three, four times. They stab me all both arms." I said, "You." I said, "You. You're excellent." She goes, "Thank you." She goes, "Now, can you tell me why you don't bend your arms?" I said, "Well, you know, when I was younger, I said I lived the weights like a maniac, and now I got calcified. I got calcified joints." She said, I never heard of that. I said, yeah, I know. Nobody has. I said, it's only me. <laughs> she said, no one lifted as much weights as I did. No one ever lifted well. as That's much right. as he. Exactly. So exactly. a video next time you go in. I went to the doctor, the VI. I said, can I do anything about these elbows? He goes, he looks at it. He goes, he says, did he hurt? I go, no, they don't hurt. He goes, ah, he goes, live with it. Don't worry about it. He goes, you're too young for elbow replacement. He goes, just, <laughs> just deal with it. I said, well, how does, how does, how does that even happen? He says, from years of you know beating the 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 the, the elbow, the triceps, and the bench, and all. He says the body starts to protect itself, so the joint starts to build up cal you know calcification. So uh, that's you know, and, that, and, yeah, and exactly. as much nutrients as your body can possibly extract from hot dogs and beer, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, that too, that too. Yeah, I have in, the, in the repair and the re process. and the beer, and the beer. Yeah. It's not, it's not. Speaking, speaking of, I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on, I'm gonna like zoom in on this. Jesus. Look at these big bruise. Holy shit. 
the hell is- have, no one has better veins than I do, right? I mean, look at that. You can stay oh, like a roadmap. Yeah, that's nurse. I go yesterday because I was not feeling well uh, to the urgent care. And they wanted to put an IV in my arm. And this woman is like all excited by my veins. Oh, I can't wait to do it. I said, look, they're tricky. I'm like Superman. They're like steel. I said, you got to like pull them tight. <laughs> they squiggle out of the way. And sure enough, she she gave me the, the craziest hematoma of all time. And she was so apologetic. I said, that I sucks. said, you, you, you got too cocky. I said, that's all there, there, all there is to it. I, 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 I got to tell you a stuff. story about that. Because what happens is. I got, I, you know, the, when I went in for blood, the nurse is going, it's nurse porn. Right. Because they got, yeah. You got the veins, yeah. right? So she starts, she just gets ready. She, she misses it two times. And she says, the vein is rolling. I can't keep it still. Yes. I say, you got a comb? She goes, so she gets, she gets a comb. And I go, watch. And I comb, I put the comb like this on my arm and pull the right. vein down with the comb. I go, now right. stick it in. You, you, and she, she goes, you got to pull, pull the vein down. tight. So now the phlebotomist carries a comb with her all the time because yeah. <laughs> it's it's people who work out. I think we have like thicker, like we have like like more like I don't know if it's pliable or they're more rubbery. The veins. I think they. they I think it's the veins are stuck to the underlying tissue and the skin no, they, rolls. They over. move around. No, they move well, around the veins. Something that's moves that. because that's what happens. Is they think they're going to get it and then they stick the thing and then it moves. I don't even because I think what too. happens is most people's veins, like you said, are embedded in right. fat. We have no fat, so they're kind of just like sitting on the surface there with nothing to kind of stabilize them, you know. So, and so, so they, John, how did you figure out the comb thing? Like, what what made you even think this dream something like that up? What did you do? One day decide you just took a comb and you went like that? And well, there was. Are you doing shit that you're not telling us? Yeah, I'm going to answer your question. Yes, there was a time when I was uh, using intravenous drugs, and um, <laughs> uh, namely Nubane. Nubane. Yeah. Yep. And you know, when you're poking yourself with pins, you got to like you know get creative sometimes. And I thought I, I don't you. know. I was sitting there one day, and his vein was rolling around, and I saw my comb, this comb, and I go. I wonder if that'll work. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it did. There you go. You got your answer, Jimmy. I, I knew there was something behind it, knowing him. You know, but anyway. I got. I got to give Greg credit for something. I was. I've been. My father wrote a lot of novels and books and stuff like that. And he wrote a. He wrote a, a mini series about his life in the in, in the Bronx. It was called the Goomba Chronicles. So I'm, I'm reading it. I, I never had read it for some reason. I have his old files of all his stuff. So I was reading through this this script he wrote. And I come across the word babanya. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait a second. I thought Greg made that name that word up. No, it's, it's babanya. It's, it's, it's an Italian yeah. word. I didn't realize it's an that. It's slang. It's for a what? slang what for, it for the drug. Drugs. Drugs. Oh. Drugs. drugs. Any drug. I use it for yeah. steroids. I'll say, you know, but I just like what you said, you made that up. No, that's a word. <laughs> I didn't know that. See, I learned something. All, his, all of his words are real. All Pichelli Gats, you know, Pichelli all God, all his words are real. for Joe Monterat. Joe Monterat is not a real guy. What's yet. the one for money? Mom, What's, Mom, Greg, Mom, What's the one for money? Got all. She got all. If it's for Esther, oh, she got green. all. You, I say all. You, every word that I say that you hear me say, like in Italian, that's a slang, Italian yep. slang. When I say it's, Joe Monterat, that's it's, that means like, you know, Joe Smith or Joe Balls or right. any, any man. Joe Monterat. Uh, all, the Greg, all the Greg's words are legit. Don't is also slang. It's like it's like it's like official slang. What Joe Matarazzi? Well, yeah, yeah. Every Joe Matarazzi and his brother. Everybody but the, okay, the, the thing brother. with slang is, in, in especially in Latin, you know Latin countries where where the language is derived from Latin, the, the wherever you go in that country, they have different words for everything. So dialect. Uh, the, the, what slang in Rome is going to be different from the slang in Naples? So right. You, right. I'm yeah. I'm na I'm from Naples, but listen, the thing is too. Like my father would say to me, "I got to go to the buck house," meaning the bathroom. But in, uh -huh. in what that meant was when the Italians first moved here, they had the fucking bathroom was outside to the back of the house, so they call the bathroom. Oh, I got to go to the buck house. You know what I mean? <laughs> meaning yeah. the back of the house. So sometimes the slang, like. If you go to Italy and, and you say, I got agita, they'll be like, what? And, it, it, you know, they don't know what the hell agita Like, that's a, that's basically really a slang Italian word, agita. Yeah. I got agita. For indigestion, you know I mean? yeah. Yeah, indigestion. Italian word. 
a lot and, of those- and, and, and they use and the old Italians use these words you never fucking heard of before. I was like, my aunt came over one time and she, she's visiting my aunt and my she's she left her suitcase in the in the in the trunk in the car and she goes, Johnny, would you go get to my valise? And I go, you what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, a valise. My, my valise. My <laughs> valise. Because that was a brand that everyone used. Of, 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 <laughs> I called everything a valise. Yeah. But Dave, now you know though. So whenever somebody, whenever I say the babani, babani means drug, any drug. Right. It could be no, like, I know what you're talking about. I, I thought you made up that word, like just no. like the babani, you know, the, 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 the you know, the drugs, you know. I, I, didn't, I, think, I didn't think it was I a real steroids. expression. I my father, you gotta, you gotta my father used it from right? 30 years ago. So obviously it was it's a word that's been around a long time. Bye -bye. See, I'm going to tell you something too. J now, Jimmy, I know, doesn't agree with this, but I always called, when we were growing up, the sauce was gravy. We called it gravy. Spaghetti sauce yes. was gravy. And yes. pasta, we never said pasta. Wait, we said macaroni. Me, me, so gravy yeah. and macaroni. It's because, I, it's, I remember you, it's because of the sauce. sauce. When it's gravy... That's meat sauce. That's the right. sauce with the meat but, but and we the put it all, But we put it under an umbrella. We no, no, no. You, a lot, depend if you're from New Jersey or New York, but gravy was with, with the heavy so meat new. sauce. The, the sauce was like marinara, the, the light, the main sauce. Yeah. That but was they, sauce. Fucking sauce is sauce. No, I, I was yeah, watching an interview with Chaz Palmateri. By the way, he's got a very good YouTube channel if you ever want to watch it. Pa Chaz palmateri has got a rock, like a Rocky story. I don't know if you know his whole story, but I don't even know who he is. Chaz Palmateri was in a Bronx Tale. Remember a Bronx what Tale? Bronx Tale. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's his story, right? He plays yeah. Sonny. He plays Sonny, the 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 mobster in in a Bronx Tale. But a Bronx Tale is about his life in 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 growing up in Brooklyn. I mean, in the, the in, in, in the Bronx. But right, what people don't realize is that. Cologio, C, the guy, the character in the, in the thing, the young kid, that was him. And he right. really did witness a, a mob guy whack someone, you know, when he was a kid and he kept his mouth shut. And so what he did was he, when he got into acting, he started getting a lot of parts on bit parts on all these TV shows. But once they feature you once, they won't go back to you because they, you got to wait some time. So he had no money. So he put together a one man show about his life called The Bronx Tale. And he was going around doing it all over the place still and he started place. getting notoriety he played all the parts and uh, they wanted to buy it from him and they offered him up to a million dollars and he turned it down almost like like stallone did with rocky he yeah. said i'll i'll take the million but i have to play sunny they're like we can't guarantee you that he's like well i'm not selling it so he kept doing the show one day he comes back after the show's over they're like uh someone's waiting for you in in, in your uh, dressing room he's like who they're like robert de niro Goes into the dressing room. De Niro's in there. He's like, he goes, I, I love, I love the play. He goes, I want to make this movie. He's like, uh, Chaz is like, well, I, I got to play Sonny. He goes, I, I, that's fine. He's like, uh, but he goes, even if you sell it to someone else, I'm going to make this movie anyway because they're going to call me. So he's like, if you let me play Sonny, you can make the movie. And they shook hands, and that that made his whole career that that move. But. Yeah. Uh, and he got he made more than a million dollars on that on the script and for that whole thing. But he, you know, he he was being interviewed. He has his own uh, YouTube channel now, um, and he does interviews people on there. And he was talking about sauce and gravy. And just like John said, he said gravy is sauce that they cook the sausage and meatballs. And my grandmother used to always cook the sausage and meatballs in the sauce. That's probably why it tasted so good. And right. they call that gravy. If they're just making a regular spaghetti sauce, like just like a tom just to make stewed tomatoes, that's that they call sauce, um, not gravy. Gravy is if there's meat correct. in it. But all yeah. old school Italians, my grandmother never made meatballs or anything else without it being in a sauce. So it was right. yeah, always mine neither, mine neither. But and, and that's, that's why and that's why they call it gravy because that's yeah. all that they ever made. But to other people, like Jimmy just said, to him, sauce is sauce. Do you understand? But to me. It's gravy. My grandmother was cooking. Listen, when I go to Tutta Plaza, I ordered I ordered rigatoni bolognese, right? And it, I know. It's, I a meat, it. it's a meat sauce. It ain't right. a meat gravy. It's a meat sauce. So you put that on the on the on the rigatonis, and you got a you got a. a, a I with you. I remember you. My grandmother. Bolognese. If you tasted her gravy, hold on. If you tasted my grandmother's gravy, there wasn't 
a speck of meat in there. You, it was all yeah. melted in there. They yeah. would cook it for days at a time. Right. And, <laughs> and then they would have the meatballs on the plate. It was yeah. all covered with the gravy, but it was on yeah. the plate. They put the sausage meatballs, one plate, yeah. the sauce would come out like gravy in a little thing you pour. And then the pasta would they she put the pasta on your plate, you put as Listen, much as you call on it. Pasta. One day I'm gonna come down here. One day I'm gonna make everything's sauce macaroni, for you. you're right. Everything was I'm gonna, macaroni. I'm gonna make sauce for you down. I'm gonna come down to the family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Uh, we, you coming down to the fall. You said that two years we, ago. We, I, I am I'm gonna it. make I'm gonna come make on, a Jimmy. sauce. I'm gonna make a sauce for day. He's gonna his mouth is gonna he's gonna drool. When he has my sauce, and then you could add the sausage and the meatballs later on if you want. Yeah. We yeah. should but, have you know, a you sauce. You can make it two ways. A gravy you can make it two ways. contest. You can make it two I'll, ways. You I'll can make sauce. The, the reason why good. most people I'll can't duplicate those, those sauces is the because dishes. they don't cook the meatballs and and the and, and the sausage in there for thirty hours. That's right. Dude, you got to cook. Key. That's the key to cooking sausage. Yeah. If you yep. if you ever eat my sausage, or you know, I got it from my grandmother. They fall apart. They are soft as can be. You can. Yeah. What you gotta do is you gotta you gotta brown all that meat first in the pot. The sausage, right. the meatballs, the brajol, the right. pork. You brown yes. it all. You take it out. Then what's left in the pot, you put in the whatever in the tomatoes and everything, and you make your sauce. And then you put all of that put meat back in. Back in. Right. Thirty hours. That's yeah. the way. Exactly. Yeah. So John, when I do all it, the way I, down, low, low, and you gotta John. prop up the lid with the wooden spoon. <laughs> So what I do, John, is I do I do what you say. So when I'm making sauce and meatballs and everything, right? Me too. I take the sweet sausage, I throw it in a, a frying pan with a little oil and some garlic, and I saute Earl. the sausage, right? Wait. That's before it goes in the sauce. Right. I'm right. Already, I already saute. You just I've said been that. doing that for years. You, you gotta right. you gotta build yeah. you build the sauce in the same pot. Wait. You you can Wait. brown the meat. I want to know this. Jimmy just said Earl. Then you yeah, burl an egg. You got to yeah. clean the toilet and then put aluminum furl around it. <laughs> and, and do all of that while drinking a bottle That's of beer. That's my grandmother. She always yeah. talked like that. Where's the aluminum furl? I mean, did, did you go to the toilet? You know? Listen, you're, talking to, you're talking to me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking guinea from way back, man. My grandparents me too, came bro. from Italy. Right. You know what I mean? I, I grew up on... Sauce, meatball, lasagna, you know, uh, uh, eggplant. My, my grandmother made it all. You know, artichoke, stuffed artichokes. They were yeah, fucking sure. to die for. You know I love mean? those so, artichokes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm my Irish. grandmother made them, I believe. You just take it. Yeah. The <laughs> you're, you're right, George. Yeah. Just catch it. I'm Irish, That's so we used to put ketchup on the spaghetti, yeah. the key Did Irish. Did you hear yeah. what George just said? He said, I'm Irish. We put ketchup on it. <laughs> they do. They do. I've seen uh, people. I'm like. Horrified by it. <laughs> oh, I, 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 it's it's I, it affects me badly. I yes, can't it, it, it eventually yes. hurts me. Yeah, to yeah. see that. But. <laughs> Even well, here, Dave, you gotta you gotta publish those books, Dave. What's the matter with you? With your father's? Uh, I, I, I know, I know. Some, most of them really are this seriously is, thinking about it, huh? There's one. This there, most of them are he self published, but there's one. This one I'm, I've been reading now. It's like a mini series. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Um, is that where you found out about Babanya? That's that where one? I found out with the Babani. Yes, I'm reading so through you, it to see if it's how good it is because I never read it before. So your and, dad uh, actually used the word Babanya then? Yeah, yeah, he used it in there in the script. Yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah, one of those guys said, the, "Get the Babanya," you know. Now well, we're going to Frank. Babanya's been around since the '60s. Babanya. Yeah. Says Babanya. Oh yeah, yeah. everybody it's said it's the drugs. They used to call yeah. heroin the Babanya, but yes. I use it for steroids. I'll say, "Yo, right. I got to get the Babanya," you know. So now all these guys watching the show, <laughs> they're gonna pick that shit up. I, I tell the guy who I train at the gym, I'm like, he's like, uh, you know, he's always asking me how he can get bigger. And, you know, he wants to be like this, uh, this, this pro and that pro. Now you tell I, him said, a little I said, you're not taking the Babania. And no one knows what I'm talking about in the gym probably. I'm like, you got to get him the Babania. I told him. Now he needs this, Captain Crunch. <laughs> right here. Unbelievable. Big bowl of Captain Crunch. He, he's eating Captain of, Crunch at 65 years old, John. His blood sugars are probably perfectly fine, too. You know. And he said, no, he I, no I, Dave, cookies, I put, I put species um, protein powder in there. Oh, you do? That's fine. That's yeah. a solution to everything. Just put Dave, species protein George powder. George, you, you got attacked by a shark. Dave, the other then, day. It's, then it's nutritious. Dave, Dave did uh, George tell you he got attacked by a shark the other day? I, I think he said he got bumped by it, didn't you, George? Oh, the picture I sent you of the bottom of my board? Yeah, yeah he said you got bumped by the it shark. Right? A it was either the reef or a shark. Yeah. yeah. 
Just right. tell people to shark. It's a better story. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say no, that. that that's not going to get you laid. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, actually, the reef bit me. You wow. weren't here before, but like, I we got chased out three times this past week by sharks. Yeah. You're out of your mind, bro. You're out of your mind. If you got well, bit I, by a shark, would, would it, would it deter on, you on from the, going in the water, George? No, I'm not worried about the sharks. The water. I'm more concerned about the sharks on land. I said if you got bit by a shark, would it deter you from going back in the water? No. No? Okay. No, I mean, the fact that the guy I just spoke today said his friend got bit in New Smyrna this past week, and, he, and the shark came up, and he punched the shark in the face, and he, he only got, he didn't get any stitches. What about that girl <laughs> surfer who lost an arm and she went right back in the water? That's a tiger yeah. shark. Yeah, yeah so New Smyrna, they put her arm off the beach of Florida, the number one tax. story. Yep. Yep. Shark so attack capital of the world. Right back on the board. Yeah, well, right that now. Was, that was about 20 years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. I yeah. saw New Smyrna Beach. I passed by it when I went to Daytona. Was it when I think when I went to Daytona? The other, to the yeah, you could zone. drive your car right on the you could drive any car right on the beach. There were seven attacks there last week, I think. Wow. But the, but why the, there's so many sharks? Why global so many sharks? warming. Be, no. Oh, God, don't. The so month that. of September <laughs> is when all the bait fish run. So in September, all the bait fish are running. So so the <clears throat> the jacks are chasing the bait fish. The jacks, jacks is a fish. And then the, the spinner sharks, the bull sharks, they're all chasing, you know, the, the uh, jacks. And they, they come uh, right into the shore. So if you're in the water, like the other day, we had a, they started running right underneath our boards. They were hitting the bottom of our boards, so we had to put our hands and feet, you know, on our top of our boards because they would have bit uh, our hands or our feet. But then they go away. We're not their food. All they do is they. Holy what? shit! That's a little risky to me, but uh, I don't know. Oh, surfing! Hey, look, everything's a risk, right? You know, it's. It, you, I mean, if you, you just sit around watching TV, what's life? When Jaws the movie came out. Everyone was afraid to go in the water. And I'm like, there's no sharks in these waters. It's a story. And you never hear, you never heard about a, a shark attack. It seems like recently there's an awful lot of people getting bitten by sharks recently. What the hell's going on? Yeah, but that's in Florida, Dave, because you're here. You're, I mean, you're going to hear Florida. It's always happened. I don't know. Did, did it? Was it always well, happening? Yeah, yeah. Yes. New Smyrna, Be New Smyrna Beach. I mean, this is subtropical. I mean, which means we're right, we're, we're right above the tropics. The water here is right now. The water is like almost ninety. Wow! And, with so the, and the, also, the movies have a big influence on everybody. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. when the ex I, I watched The Exorcist with my friends. And the mother took me to the movie theater, and I watched The Exorcist in the seventies, oh. right? And I, when I when I got up and went back to the house, they they you know I had my bicycle at my friend Mike's house, so we got went back home. I got on my bike. It was like ten o'clock at night, and I'm pedaling home in the middle of the night was in the summer and i kept looking behind me man i swore that this girl was chasing me <laughs> just, just, man. i was oh, shitting in my you pants were also man. Cursed. Yeah. a lot of people don't know that you you had a curse I, placed on you so i have a curse it's, it's i know truth. yeah i know i know you still have it jimmy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do actually i thought you went and got it exercised off didn't you pay the girl Listen, the other night I'm laying in bed. I was trying to sleep because so I got to get up early. And all of a sudden I hear like this banging on my closet door. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck is that? I said, nobody's here. I live alone. What the, who the banging on the fucking door? So I got my shotgun and I walked down the hallway, you know, and I opened up the closet door. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a fucking vacuum fell out. So I uh, guess when I, I, I must have put it back. Not correctly, you know, 100% during the day. And then uh, I got, took hours, I guess. I don't know. And then it fell, but scared the living shit out of me. And I was thinking about the curse. I said, the son of a bitch funnier, is you in my house. It, it would have been funny if you would have blasted the vacuum cleaner. But the I almost guy. did, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, All right. Anyway. Well, uh, I, I want to, well, I might as well address this now. I addressed it on Heavy on heavy Muscle Radio on, on Sunday night. But just for people who, who don't, listen and uh they interpret things the way they want we were um uh we got a strike against our youtube channel the arcs Muscle youtube channel for us talking i think it was for us talking about on the last show the the uh the vaccine thing and they didn't like that uh, so uh, and so they they gave us a strike so we i wasn't able to post content for a week i think friday we, we, we can start posting content again so we've been streaming to facebook which i i wanted to do anyway so I just was too lazy to, to figure out how to do it. So now we're, we've been doing this. So we might continue to stream both places. Just what about Rumble, able... Dave? 
Can we do it? Well, yeah, we- I don't like Rumble. The problem with Rumble is that you can't put stuff on YouTube and Rumble because then they, then YouTube will ban you. You know, uh, oh, you so- can't use the same content with Facebook and and, Inst- and uh, YouTube. They don't care. So, so it's the W H. So the W H O. Let's be clear. It's the W. What? So they're, John- they're following the rules of the W the World Health Organization. No, no they're not. Did they're you not. like? Okay. No, they're not. What's did the- you, Dave? Did you listen to that video I sent you? With the which one did you send? Oh, yeah, 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 the New World Order one, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that, well, that's what's happening. Those yeah. organizations. Wait a minute, are wait, a minute wait a minute. Are you a conspiracy yeah. theorist? No, 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 no. no. This no. is fact. This no. is fact. There are organizations. Fact. There are God. organizations right now, their job is to police social media and basically uh, uh, censor any conversation that goes against the narrative and there's actual companies that do this and they, they, they will monitor your company and they will make sure that your conversations and public statements align with the narrative. The narrative is the vaccines are wonderful. They work at 17 of them a day. And so then much for freedom of speech, bro. Eat, bu- eat bugs. Don't and if you don't comply with that, right. they will penalize you by just exactly what we're experiencing. That's why we would tell people. They monetize you. They keep you from right. making money. They keep people yeah. from seeing your videos. They censor you. Well, they John, let me ask you a question. What happened to the First Amendment? Where's the First Amendment, John? It doesn't matter. It's it doesn't world apply. Huh? That's doesn't why apply. we would tell people without talking politics. We never said anything about right. who was in office before. And we, we go, this is completely different. So what I, so this what is I, between- my solution is that if you know if we want to have a show, like if John want, and I want to have a show where we talk about that kind of stuff, we'll do it on Twitter because we can stream to Twitter too. So we have a Twitter account for Arx Muscle. Yeah. And, and, and we'll just have refer to everything as When you first announced it, yeah. Dave, that you got bumped, Lee, Lee called me up. You thought it was me and him on the confessionals. <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. I didn't think it was the guys. I, Dave, no, I, they tell you. They tell you what what violated. They'll tell you what video and and what you said. So I knew that it was about that, and I said, "All right, you know what? It's not something I need to talk about anyway. I don't even care about it." So I'll just ignore it on on YouTube. And then if I want to talk about John with you know controversial topics, and we want to have a political show, we can we can do it on Twitter because I wanted to expand to that that. Um, to that vehicle anyway. We have a Twitter account, but we don't use it. And Elon Musk is is has opened up Twitter and he's encouraging people to talk about controversial topics on there. So well, when we I talk about the show, flat earth, you, you got demonetized when I was just talking about the flat no, earth. No, we didn't know we no, they, they no, they they came, they fact checked us on it. That's because they said. Oh, they fact checked. They said that it was not acceptable. Maybe we're screaming and fact. saying "fuck" every other word, so they you know <laughs> they don't care about the, the curses anymore. But they don't, they don't like to be fact. They don't like the flat Earth. Right, theory, right. That's the no, that's the start. Then the, of the course next they don't thing like is, the flat Earth. Eat bugs. Of course. <laughs> anyway, the next thing so. is no no just everything electric. The next, oh, I mean, yeah. So, what happened to Lee? Hold on. What happened to Lee's Instagram account? Did he get Did he get banned on Instagram again? No. Again? He, well, no, he's he been, said he's, he, said he was going to get banned. Exercise uh, is unhealthy for you. Don't lift weights. Don't work out. Be be an overweight. Uh, don't take black lesbian female. You're a girl. Seriously, I'm not. Don't kidding. take testosterone unless Look you're a girl. That's Jimmy. <laughs> this is where it's all going. It ha- yeah. happens in increments. So. Unless we Listen, speak I out, got, I got a lot to say about all of that, but I'm, I, we're not allowed to talk about it on the show. Yeah, so. no, no. But, but use, save use for, the Italian for the Twitter show. A for the Twitter show. I got to wrap up anyway, guys. I want to thank you for joining us live. If you've uh, tuned into the entire show, if you want to catch the re, uh, I guess the replay, it'll be on as soon as we end this broadcast. And uh, we should next week be back on YouTube, but we'll be here also as well on, on Facebook. So if you enjoy watching us on Facebook. You can catch us in both places. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with John Romano and the entire Whack Pack. We'll see you next week. The truth.